Okay, so maybe a little series on Amari's meals. So, frozen blueberries, been grinded. Here's a little bit of oatmeal. Okay, you can see. And then this is uh, whipping cream with a little bit of maple sugar sprinkled on top. Okay, so it's June 9th. Sorry. July 9th, from the essential work that they are doing. 2020. Uh, again, those are. This is apparently alive. Uh, Richard, I know you've got. They caught on to what I was saying. Minister Dix. Because uh, they were backpedaling. They were backpedaling a few days ago with uh, Adrian Dix going up there talking about, oh, it's July 13th. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, sorry. I'm one week ahead. Yeah, we're one week ahead. Right? Trying to cover their asses, people. So I don't know if this is a real live, or a fake live, or what they're doing here. You can see, I'll just refresh the page, you know, this is what I'm up against, a corrupt government all the way through, it doesn't matter what the political party is in, right? Uh, we're not dealing with regular, everyday folk here, okay, now we're going to a different page. This was before the live was started. You can see, right, it was supposed to start at 10.30. Then we'll go into this page. Apparently we've got 345 people watching right now. And there he is. It says 349 people watching right now. I don't necessarily believe anything that these people say anymore. Honest to God. See, now it's saying it's not live. Do you see that? Do you see? Do you see how the live went out? Right? because it was probably pre-recorded people okay you're gonna see you're gonna see they're gonna fake the funk again okay right so you know anything that they have to say honest to god it's a political agenda they're trying to control the population as they're harvesting us picking us off one by one beginning with vulnerable women and children the elderly Right? They've been doing it for a long time. They're just ramping it up. Right? Redirecting wherever they can save money, wherever they can make money, you know, into their portfolios. This says it's not even alive anymore because that's what they do. They kick it in, right? And then they run run the the past stream is what the, is what they're doing right now. They're running a past stream. That's why it's not live. Let's refresh. Okay. See? Oh, now it says live. Now it says live. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Right? I don't even know what they're talking about. I've been, I've been not listening to them. Because as far as I'm concerned, it's just lies, lies, lies. Okay. They're all in bed with each other to accumulate wealth for themselves and their partners, right? They, Andre, turn that down. They speak with forked tongue, right? They have legislation that they use to their advantage, but when you come to them and point out where crimes, federal and provincial crimes were committed via through the public union sector with their employees, they protect the employees, they protect the crime, because they endorse it, people. Okay, so apparently this is working, right? We, we see, so do you see how the live, what happened here? It cut out again. Why? I didn't turn it off. Protecting the, uh, see how it kicks, do you see how it keeps kicking out? Um, so let's refresh the page. I, I highly doubt this is, I, honest to God, people, I highly doubt this is a live stream on the fly. To make determinations on this was done about what at some other there. point. With respect okay, to now I'm not going to touch itself. anything here, uh, we have, uh, right? I'm just going to go so over here, put in place regulations. right? We have done everything we can. Uh, I want to refresh this page. To our view that uh, Vancouver 
as an export terminal for diluted bitumen is not the best it says use of, uh, it's our, still uh, live gateway you can to, see uh, it world. and vancouver and here was the Columbia, original one uh, certainly uh, wants right to make before sure everything we're all started those things that are special to right us. let's go back to this one that decisions have been made okay court it says it says it's still live pipeline so to make sure that i'll just let it run itself through to the right it's, it's insignificant as to what they have to say because when I take it to court, we know what's going to happen with Shimei, with Sierra. Well, Sierra, I haven't filed one yet, people. And then, of course, there's Uncle John stuff still pending. They need to deal with crooked health care staff. They need to deal with crooked banking systems, right? They need to deal with the targeting of vulnerable women and children and the elderly. They need to deal with uh, murders being covered up as fentanyl is being used to bring in bodies for illegal harvesting. This is what they need to be dealing with, not with fake fucking uh, news, right, in terms of fake numbers, fake deaths, with no witnesses witnessing those deaths, with no fact checks in terms of independent secondary autopsies to fact check anything that the BC Coroner Service, which is a corrupt entity, okay? They don't get a green pass on what they did with Shimei. They don't get a green pass on what they've done to Sierra, all right? Oh, still live. So what happened? Why did it kick out? Hmm? Hold on. Let's just run it out and see what happens. Okay, so it concluded, like, in less than a minute. Oops, let's go back. So it's concluded. Okay, it's over. Let's go in here and see what we find. Let's, let's now just up refresh this page, people. Let's see what we get. There you go. The proof is in the fucking pudding. Okay, that live that we just seen was done a day ago. All right, you just seen that, people. Okay. So even though you had Adrian Dix get up there one, on this one of these days talking about how it was the 13th, ha, 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 we made a mistake, no, 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 really it was the 7th. Here they did one supposedly on the 6th. This one was supposedly on the 7th, but they haven't fucking corrected it yet, but I think they're the same. Right? Because, you know, they're screwing around, right, people? But, like, you can see it right here. That what we were just watching, that's why it kept kicking out. I told you. That's why it kept fucking kicking out. Okay? Here it is, the one waiting, right? We just, we just went through the live, the fake live stream... That's what that is. It's a fake fucking live stream. Because when you go into their page, okay, we will refresh the page. We know the routine. We know what will happen. Right? This will disappear. This will disappear. And then they're going to come back in, repost it, so that you don't see that. It will say it was streamed 23 minutes ago, 2 minutes ago, 56 minutes ago, whatever it will say, it won't say one day ago, right? Because they're lying, people. That's why I don't even listen to them that much anymore, because they're fucking lying. You can't get up there, say it's July... Where is it? July... June 22nd. You can't get up there on June 22nd, supposedly, give out all these numbers of people who died, or whatever, if they haven't even fucking died yet. But that's what they've been doing. 
Okay, they're reporting on false infections and they're reporting on false deaths as they're making people not allowed to see their loved ones as their loved ones are being isolated like the healthcare system's dirty secret. And these people, and some of them are not even fucking people, are doing whatever they want like they did to Shimei's body like they did to Sierra's body, like they did to Uncle John's brain and his body, to take what they want. It doesn't matter if it's money, organs, teeth, or perhaps maybe the skin in terms of a bodysuit, to hide what's going on in terms of who some of these so-called politicians really are. Okay? Watch. It won't be long before it disappears. They have to give it a few minutes because they have to tweak it, right? So when it disappears, I'll come back. Oh, wait a minute. It already did disappear. Okay? It's gone now. Do you see that? It's gone there. Do you, do you see this? Where's this? Premier Horgan update July 9th. No, he didn't do it on the fucking 9th. He did it on the 8th because it was done a day ago. you just seen it, but they took it down and now they're going to repost it. As over here, they're coming in. Oh, well, it's July 13th. Oh, sorry, we made a mistake. <laughs> you know, we got to debunk Judy because we know there's a fucking video out there going on about how we're lying and cheating the public. Well... There you go, people. It's happened again. Okay, so I'm just going to refresh the page. Not back yet. Okay, so now it's back. I am not going to upload this, people, for a while. Because I'm just going to follow up on this and see how often, you know, I'm not going to... And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not stressing myself out about this. Outside of these people are lying to the public and as they are lying to the public people They are literally picking us off one by one starting with vulnerable children vulnerable women or perhaps men, right? I'm sure anybody vulnerable right and the elderly who are vulnerable Okay, I am taking the time to listen to this, people. Okay, even though it's a fake live stream, I am taking the time to listen to this. Okay, I've been avoiding it for a while because it's so, so depressing. All right? Because people are dying because of negligence from the public union sector. And not only are they dying, but they're being fucking hunted down. Okay? We know my opinion on that, all right? Anyway, he's going to go on to talk about, well, he's answering questions, people, okay? This is in regards to Uncle John and how the government, the lawyer, Andrew the Dragon, and his associates don't want to fucking deal with what happened to Uncle John because they know under the Criminal Code of Canada, and through the various provincial fucking legislations that we have in the province of British Columbia, Canada, 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 that multiple crimes, white criminal, white collar criminal activity was committed against Mr. John Bernard Duncan and his family, who happened to be one of those more vulnerable British Columbians of Canada, Canada. Reminder to reporters on the line, please press star one to get in the queue for a question. If you've already pressed star one, press it again just to ensure... No, listen to how he queue. answers this Our and blows it off. Today blows it off. To Michelle Bernaro. Completely blows it off. Hi there. Listen. Can your women with family inside Lynn Valley Care Home at the start of the COVID-19 outbreak say many of the shocking things that were happening in Ontario and Quebec care homes were also happening here. They say they witnessed... Seniors crying out for help and no...
They witnessed people in British Columbia, Canada, witnessed seniors crying out for help. How many times did Uncle John cry out for help? And that bitch you know who sat up there and said, You can't see the kids. You're not well enough. You're not going nowhere. You're not allowed to see the kids. You know that, John. This is Canada. No one answering for a long time. Seniors lying in urine-soaked clothing. Seniors lying in urine-soaked clothing in British Columbia, Canada. And this so-called man, it hasn't been determined yet whether he's a real fucking man, wants to blow it off. Okay? What are my chances in court fighting for my family when you got some so-called man who just wants to blow it off and then sit up there with forked tongue and talk about how BC, British Columbia, Canada, Canada is the place you want to be. Obviously, I'm putting it out there now, aren't I? Seniors not being fed. Seniors COVID Seniors not being fed. They're crying out for help. That's what they were doing at the old Yale Center when they had Uncle John locked up. That's why they were scoping out my kids and getting my kids to help them, people. My kids were taking them to the washroom, people. And that was in 2015. As all those workers were conspiring to keep those old people locked up and not let them go home. They were conspiring to force those old people to sell their houses. So the property developer can buy them up five in a row and build in fucking condos for the new and approved immigrant population that's going to pay more money for them and do as they're told. If they want to be in Canada, Canada, of wandering to rooms of those who were not infected and they say some of the things that were being said publicly about what was happening inside didn't happen until days later such as cleaning and extra staff exactly because they're telling fucking lies mr premier will you commit to a public inquiry will you commit to a public inquiry and you know what he says people he says no, it's not necessary. Just dismiss it. Pass it along. Right? The people won't fight back. They'll give up. You know? And if they don't give up, we'll just come after another loved one and pick them off. And then maybe they might learn their lesson and give up. Because this is Canada! Uh, I don't know if that's the right way forward. I don't know if that's the right way forward because we don't want to get fucking caught. That's why. We don't want all those old people's bodies dug up and have independent autopsies done on them and then to find out the fucking truth that their bodies were pillaged and tortured before they died. God forbid. We don't want that coming to the surface. No, 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 no. Because this is Canada! Quite frankly, we absolutely want to hear from families. What for? You don't care what families go through. So don't invite them to send you some fucking email that you're just going to pass off to somebody else to read and then throw it out in the fucking trash. Uh, who have loved ones in care facilities, and we want to see where we were, where we are, and where we need to go. And I believe... Yeah, but we don't want to know the truth. We don't want to take it back to 2015 and find out that the fucking corruption was there long before I stepped up to the plate to become premier because I'm part of the fucking problem. I'm just a, a, another pillar to that corruption in Canada! Canada! We can do that through dialogue uh, with uh, public health <laughs> officials, with uh, operators. <laughs> oh, yeah. Public health officials. Oh, the almighty fucking gods of fucking Canada. Uh, with the various health authorities across the province. 
Yeah, well, we know what they got. A whole bunch of Andrew the Dragons blowing fucking fire into the courthouse to destroy the evidence in Canada! And most importantly, we need to hear from families. No, you don't! Because if you needed to hear from fucking families, you would do the right thing! And your fucking government, doesn't matter if it's the PC Liberal government, doesn't matter if it's the New Democratic Party, it's all the same bullshit with forked tongue, because this is Canada! And I don't believe you need a public inquiry to do that. Uh, my email box is always available if people want to send me their views, what they saw, what... Send me their views. He doesn't even acknowledge it as fucking facts. And he doesn't want to go and fact check either. Because whatever the fuck this person, so-called person, is doing is nothing but political. He doesn't care about you or your family. He doesn't care about this fucking province. And he sure in the hell doesn't care about Canada! They, what they feel, what, they, what their concerns are, but I think we've had a tremendous response here in British Columbia, and that is, at the root of it, of course, is, is health care workers uh, making the commitment to do better. He completely contradicted everything that that woman just said. Uh, during this very, very difficult time. And remember, this was fucking streamed one day ago. But they're misleading the public to think that they did it today because this is Canada. And the results today are far superior. The results today. No, the results yesterday, dude. They were yesterday's results and they weren't even fucking results. They were just something that somebody wrote down so that you can get up on that podium and lie to the public because this is Canada period of what they were months ago. I'm not for a minute going to try and erase uh, the situation that, that some of these families... No, but he's going to just let it fucking go under the rug. Dismiss it. Like he's a fucking dirty, crooked fucking judge. Right? Right? And then take it to another dirty, crooked fucking judge, and that judge will dismiss it. And then take it to another dirty fucking judge, and that judge will just pass it off to dirty fucking crooked fucking cops, because this is fucking Canada! We saw and felt at the time, but I'm very confident that we've gone well past that, and we're- Oh, so, no restitution. No, I'm sorry. No, no, no. No acknowledging the fucking crimes that were committed against those elderly. No, 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 no. No finding out the truth as to what really happened to those dead bodies that were more than likely fucking pillaged and used as uh, receptacles for science experiments for some subhuman that's walking among us that's got these fucking politicians by the fucking balls because this is Canada. We're in a position, unlike any other province in the country, uh, where we can be quite proud of the work that we've done. No, you haven't fucking fact-checked anything. You haven't done a fucking inquiry. What you got is a whole bunch of fucking facts out there that you don't want to fucking investigate. That's what it is. You got a fucking negligent fucking government, right, right along with your negligent fucking public union sector that just sucks out the fucking life blood of the fucking real people that are in this province and acknowledge that we have much more work to do. And because you're a bunch of fucking bullies, who do you attack first? Women and children and old people. Because they're easy targets. Because this is Canada!